In centuries past, the birth of a royal heir was not just a private affair, but a grand spectacle witnessed by a multitude. On November 1, 1661, Queen Mary Therese, who was married to King Louis XIV of France, started experiencing labor pains. Her peaceful palace rooms quickly became crowded with important guests as soon as they heard she was in labor. When royal babies were born, lots of people had to be there to see it happen. Queens were often surrounded by many people when they gave birth, which made it scarier for them. In this case, all those courtiers were there to make sure the baby was born alive and to make sure no one tried to switch a baby girl for a boy, which was often what people wanted. Outside, there's a happy atmosphere with music and dancing to help the queen feel better. But for Mary, childbirth is a daunting ordeal fraught with danger and uncertainty. After 12 long hours of pain, the queen finally had her baby, a healthy boy named Louis de France. King Louis XIV yelled from the window to the people below in the courtyard, The queen had a baby boy! For a lot of royal ladies, the pressure to have a baby started right after they got married. And when royal women became pregnant, everyone watched them closely. Fast forward to 1778 and another queen, Marie Antoinette, faces a similar ordeal. Despite her wishes for privacy, Versailles became sciatic as people rushed to see the royal birth. After two hours, she delivered a small girl named Marie Therese after her grandmother. Although the child was not the desired boy, the queen's apartments became so raucous. She felt overwhelmed by the crowded hot room with no fresh air. For the next 18 days, queen stayed in bed to rest. Since her baby was a girl, she got to spend more time with her. Catherine, the great of Russia, had a terrible time giving birth to her son Paul. She was locked up in a small room by Empress Elizabeth, with no one to keep her company. Queen Margaret, the mother of Henry VII of England, also had a difficult childbirth experience. She made sure her grandchildren's birth were more comfortable by setting up special rules, like having a nicely decorated room and only women around during delivery. Royals had access to better medical care during childbirth, including skilled midwives and tools like forceps. In the 19th century, medicine improved, so having a baby wasn't as painful or dangerous like before. Queen Victoria surprised people by using chloroform to help with the pain when she had her baby. After that, having a baby became more private for royals even though some old-fashioned ways stuck around in some families.